All right. Hello, everybody. I think we are live. Hey, V, how are you? Hey, Mitch. I am wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. How are you? I am doing well. I'm going to my, my, my Facebook page so I can share Same. this. Same. And right now. And if anybody's out there already listening to us, go ahead. If you would like to share this, you can. We'd love for you to share it on your page, on your story. Yes. I'm doing that right now. I'm sharing, I'm sharing, I'm sharing. Oh, where else do I want to share? Oh, to yeah. Now, I made a mistake one time of doing like a watch party. And then when you do a watch party, you can't like see the comments. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Psychic shenanigans with the Wonder Twins. Woohoo! So there's <laughs> Eloy and Norm. Hello, hello. Robin, what's up? Hey, hey, guys. Hello. We are sharing all over our socials. If you feel comfortable and want to share this on your Facebook page or your story or something, please go ahead and share our way. And we are going to we're going to get talking and see what's going on. Yes. yes. So, um, so V, while you're still sharing. Oh, Casimir. <laughs> hello. Shenanigans time. Aaron. Oh, my gosh. Aaron, it's good to see you here. <laughs> All right, I just shared it. Okay. So, oh my goodness. So, what's been going? Oh, so B, what's been going on with you since you're done sharing? I'll let you go first. All right. So, um, if you guys can tell, Mama been out in the sun, honey. I got a little melanin Monroe is what I like to call myself. Melanin Monroe. <laughs> melanin Monroe. Yes. Now, now I have a. I have a, a, a. How do I say this? I have a question. So uh -oh. I see the red tints in you, the red highlights. And I, and I said, yes, said, you look like you got some sun. And yeah. I remember asking somebody, red bone, is, is that when you have more of a red tint to your skin or yellow? <laughs> and then what's, is there, is there red and yellow? What's the difference in that? This is a very cultural or racial oh. thing. See, I, I don't know where it all came from, but in, from what I know, um, red bone is like when you're light skinned. And it really is kind of like, it's kind of like a cat call in some way. Okay. You know, guys used to say, hey, Redbone, like things like that. Outside of red, but outside of that, that's all I know Redbone to be. It's like when you are a fairer skinned black person. Okay. You leave the red bone. And so. is it, it's not derogatory, correct? It's just... Uh, it'll put the, it, I, you, I wouldn't have you call anybody Redbone first okay. off, no. Um... <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> no. And, and I see um, a lot of times like on people like with their descriptions and comments of who they are or something like that. They might say, you know, a red bone, something, something like that. Yeah. Usually it's usually it's a, a fair skinned black person, a light skinned okay. person. Yeah. So, yeah, it, it's not necessarily it could be considered derogatory. You know, if you know, people are not into the cat calls. And usually it's only women that are called red bone versus. Oh, OK. So that kind well, of I've thing. seen a lot of gay men use that. Use well, okay. Black well, gay they... men between themselves. So that's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Michelle. <clears throat> Michelle. That is what I love the word. So. Okay. Michelle, you, I know, I, I know people do this to me all the time. <laughs> people do this to me all the time. Are you okay? I know there's a hurricane there. So Michelle, were you near the hurricane? <laughs> cause a lot, cause Florida is a big state. Anytime Florida gets a hurricane, people would wonder if we're okay. Stacy, hello from New York City. Oh, but you were asking me what? So yes, I got some sun. Um, yesterday I got time to spend with my uh, my Jeep sisters. I own a, um, a a Wrangler, and we have a sisterhood here in Detroit called the Detroit Black Jeepers, and we're all professional women that have Wranglers. And so yesterday was my first ride out, and there were probably about 30, 35 of us all in Wranglers, like driving down to the Riverside Marina. Are you kidding it, me? It was absolutely beautiful. It was it was a beautiful thing to see. It reminded me of Fast and the Furious meets the Italian job with Wranglers. So <laughs> we were like you in unison like switching lanes and just it was it was absolutely fabulous. So we got wow. down to the marina. We all, you know, sat around, we had food, we had drinks, um, we played games, we sat on our trucks, we took lots of pictures and just seeing the customization of people's trucks. And like, this is the first time that I had, you know, written out, but just the immediate sense of sisterhood and welcome. And it was just so it was awesome. all women and Wranglers. 
Women and Wranglers. Like W yep. squared. Women, women yeah. and Wranglers or W I W. So yep. so who else popped out? Hey T- hey Terry. Hey Sue. Oh good Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. Lo- yeah, so I got to spend time by the marina, by the water and the sun. It was Alexa or Siri. Yeah, yeah, Siri just popped <laughs> on. Because who did I say hey to? I said hey, hey, who did I say hey to? I thought so. Oh, shh. Thank you. <laughs> I thought so. Um, and then I saw Miroslava. Hello from Miami. I hope you're doing I'm, a, hey. I'm, a, I'm in Orlando, and I know y'all are, y'all are getting hit hard with the COVID down there more than we are. <laughs> Miami's getting rough, so I hope you're all right. And I love the Lavalette. Or is it oh, pronounced differently, it. Terry? Hey, Polo. Polo. People, if you if you want to know an amazing reader, Polo Cruz. Oh my gosh, Polo, would you consider? I think I consider you more of a tarot person, but I also know you're a big Lenormand person. So I don't know what you would say is more your wheelhouse, but. Mm-hmm. But check him out, Polo. Put your website or Facebook page in there so people can find you too. So, oh, thank you, Michelle. Thank you, thank you. My little cat eyes today with a little blue. I don't know if you guys can see the blue tortoise oh, underneath the. Oh, nice! Black tortoise show. Very nice. Hey, Courtney. So you guys, um, probably and maybe. I don't know, five minutes, 10 at the most. We're going to, we're going to take some names for doing some readings, uh, but not yet, not yet. So hold tight, but we're just visiting right now. How's everybody doing through just the world stuff right now? Yes. We hope you're doing well. How's everybody hanging in there? Did somebody just walk past you in the background? (laughs) Is your hubby there? No. Okay. He is, but he's in the other room. Okay. Look, unless it could easily be some, some, look, somebody walking behind me. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> probably Lenormand okay cool man <laughs> speaking of Lenormand yeah oh talk about this this people people you, and you gotta explain exactly what it is don't leave out details because because I'm looking at it still going okay what is it I know but go ahead so I am also a Lenormand reader outside of tarot and two of my good friends um Jenna Diaz of Moonlit Faye on Instagram and Jamie Sawyer of Jamie Sawyer underscore 336 on Instagram um, sent me a care package full of love. And one of the things was Jenna makes bags for um, Lenormand decks or tarot decks, Lenormand decks, whatever, but just bags. Very nice custom bag. I mean, the work is amazing. So this is the bag that they sent me. It has my logo on it. Um, We call it Witchy Baton. So they had this, this, this print, this fabric made. Um, so Jenna made the bag and then Jamie makes Lenormand tiles. She also has tarot tiles, which are a miniature version of the, this is my Lenormand deck of Lenormand or tarot. Okay. So it's just like a little tile. It's about this thin, but the best part is that they put my logo on the back of these tiles. Wow. Can you see the beauty of these so such a sexy set and it's so v like it's so <laughs> and your, so your logo thing. your logo is literally right up in the corner of where you are i know you can't see it so, exactly. so well and it's and it's backwards so yeah that's black with red and these are red with black yeah so a, absolutely awesome awesome set um and this bag is actually has like a little see-through um, clear pout, clear on the outside. You, girl, so you could just shake the bag and look through the window and get a reading without even opening it up. Listen. <laughs> okay, what does it say? What does it say right there? Look at that. This is bear and snake. Oh, yes. Bear and snake. Oh, and coffin is over here on the corner. Oh, my god. Bear, snake, coffin. Oh, wow. That mm. is cool. So this is a present for me, and they are such dope souls. So if you guys are looking for tarot bags, Moonlit Faye, Jenna Diaz, or, you know, anything divination craft, um, anything engraved, check out Jamie Sawyer. Just yes, yes, yes. So. Beautiful. So I'll show you um, something that came in the mail for me. I, I, um, I kickstart back this, the food, healing Ooh. oracle, nourishing wisdom from the earth. Um, they're actually some Central Florida folk. 
Um, I have not even opened it yet, um, so I'm gonna have to do an unboxing soon. Uh, oh, I got. I still haven't. I still haven't done an unboxing of this. Ooh, the black gold. And gold. Look at that. It oh, the is black and gold gorgeous. Arrow. That Ooh. one, and, and look how this box opens. Yes, 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 yes. And it's like the black. It's just a black and gold book inside. Um, you, I love. It thing luxurious yes oh so you can see i haven't even opened it yet so that was on my 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 road trip of renewal i still haven't done an unboxing of those yet because oh okay the road trip okay cause, yes because daddy is is like booked three weeks out and he's trying to get things i did a dream interpretation class for the world divination association i'm I putting my i got my outline together for my animal communication class that i'm going to send over to yeah. them and get online queued up soon so lots of good good stuff coming up hey norm yeah norm two more unboxings hey, oh. hey christy so um so let's get started so we're not too late because i know v's got stuff to do afterwards and yeah. i've got to sit on the couch with my husband and relax for the day um yeah. with a big old cup of coffee i know coffee at eight o'clock at night <laughs> i can do it go straight to bed so um, so here's what we're going to do. So we each are going to pull one card. I'm going to be using the um, Tarot of Dreams deck. I've been using it a lot lately. Um, v is going to be using... I am using the Dark Mansion Tarot oh. by Ch Studios. If you guys are interested or familiar, I, it's, pretty, it's pretty cute. It reminds me of the Haunted Mansion in, in Disney. Absolutely. I love it. So here's what we would ask. If you've had a reading from us either two weeks ago or four weeks ago, because that would be the last two times we did um, the shenanigans, then please let somebody else who might be new tonight um, get a reading because we only, we only choose eight people. Um, and if, if all of a sudden, like, we only have six, then we'll let someone who did like four weeks ago. So um, <laughs> Polo said he can drink coffee and sleep like a baby. Me too. Usually people who are very hyperactive can do that. Because at six years old, the doctor told my mom to give me coffee because I was a hyperactive child. And it's like Ritland. So it's, it's yep. feed for the hyperactivity and it counteracts it. Hey, Donna. I, I used to have a little boy in school. He would drink a Coke before coming to school every morning. Wow. Just it helps give you focus. Yep. So, yep. so, um, so V and I will pull one card each. We will let you ask a question, but don't post it yet. But here's what we first want to know. If, you, if you've not had a reading from us in over a month, or you're new tonight, then what we need to do, so so Miroslava, um, what you want to do is type the words, right, type the word me, M-E, like you're saying, yes, me, pick me. So type the word me, Miroslava, and anybody else, especially who's first time tonight. So, um, all right, Donna, I do see that. So yes. I'm going to go there. And Miro, Miroslava, I'm going to go ahead and put yours down so you don't have to write that in. I got that. So who else we got? So I got Donna, Miroslava. Um, Donna, I already got you. Mm -hmm. That sounded like Doba, I already got you. <laughs> Doba, I love Donna, I already got you. Yes. <laughs> All right. Robin. So Robin, Lisa, Allison. Yep. Stacy. Stacy. Yes, Miroslava, we've got you. And I hope I'm saying your name right because I love it. It's beautiful. Polo and Daniel. All right, we are done. The guys got in right at the end. All right. All right, so we're done. We got eight. So yep. here's the order. And Polo, you're going to have to retype your question, especially since you're number seven, because that will be. That question will be long gone by then. So, um, so, so Don is going to be number one, then Miroslava, Robin, then Lisa, then Allison, then Stacy, then Polo, then Daniel. So I'm going to piggyback on number four. I made this choice before I came online. V, what are you going to piggyback on? I'm going to do seven tonight. Okay, so V is going to do number seven with Polo. So if you did not get on the list, then what you can do is just in your mind, you don't have to type it out, but in your mind, just choose one through eight. And if you're watching this in the replay and you're like, what's going on? Are y'all still live? No, we're not. Um, <laughs> then you pick one through eight. <laughs> so I love like two days from now, someone will say, hey, pick me. And I'm like, girl, we're no longer live. We are. In but the we love now. you anyway. We love you anyway. 
So, all right. So here's what's going to happen. So when we, we're going to tell you who's next. So when you're next, type your question, but don't hit enter until we say next, until we tell you to hit enter, because it takes about 40 seconds. And if you type the question in, it scrolls past and we forget it. So Donna, type your question in and hit enter. You'll be first. And then Miroslava, type your question in, but don't hit enter yet. And we'll get you after Donna. And V, do you want to go first or second tonight? You know I don't care. Um, I'll go first. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. So, whoo. Oh, Miroslava, you were born in, the, in Czech, Czech Republic. Is that what it's called? Or Czechoslovakia? I, I'm not good with, I'm good with numbers and math. I'm not, yeah, no. Mm -mm. History, geography, no. So, nope. Donna, no, Donna, type your question in, and then Miroslava, get ready. Oh, and then we will each pull a card and give you a reading. Okay, Donna, can you bring my dog Max up? What we can do since, well, I don't know about V, but we can pull a card that can deliver a message from Max. But what I'll say is if either V or I tap in as a medium, we'll see if we can get some information because this is a little different than doing mediumship. But we will, we will, okay, Miroslava, thank you. So Donna, we will, ooh, cards are flying out. Oh my gosh, literally like like a bundle of them. So we'll say what the, we'll tell you what the cards say and if we pick anything else up, we'll definitely let you know. All right, um, let's see. And anybody who's piggybacking on number one, this is for you as well. So Miroslava, I'm sorry. So Donna, I am not an animal communicator. But what I can do is to just give you a message and I'll just ask for a message on behalf of Max for you um, to see what comes up in the cards. OK. Let's see. Ooh, I tell you, Max is full of energy jumping. Was Max a um... king of wands? <laughs> um, yeah. So. What I'm getting um, with this message is that it might be time for you to either return or find your own sense of energy, you know, grounding your energy to a place where you're able to kind of lead, putting your best foot forward, um, no longer kind of sitting in the background of a situation or a circumstance, but really putting your, you know, a sense of bravery, you know, on and moving forward, stepping forward with courage. If you have an idea, it's time to move on it. Okay. Um, uh, he the King of Wands is like a baby emperor for me. So there's a lot of, you know, having a sense of structure, having a sense of order. Um, but first off, it's about, you know, structuring and ordering your energy so that it doesn't go to waste. Okay. So I hope that resonates for you. Oh, and she said she just had a granddaughter. I love it. So first of all, Donna, when I'm shuffling the cards and they keep just flying out, flying out, and I'm, I'm trying to tap into Max's energy, and I let me know if Max is crossed over or still alive. I'm assuming crossed over since you're asking to bring up. But first thing I thought was, oh my gosh, is Max a Jack Russell or something? Because the energy just bouncing all over the place. Um, so this dog was definitely full of life. I'm seeing the number 13. So I don't know if he was right around 13 years old, is around 13 or passed around 13. But the card that I pulled was the seven of cups. So I would say, and this is very much um, Scorpio energy. I don't know if you knew their birthday. Maybe they are some Scorpio. Okay, crossed over. So some Scorpio energy. But this card is all about choices and emotional ones. And I really feel like this is telling you that Max is showing up multiple ways. Um, you know, this love, this energy is showing up in multiple ways. Okay, right at 12 years old. Cool. Um, so this, yeah, definitely his energy coming through. Um, he's really showing me the bed, like sleeping. So I don't know if you feel him on the bed. And I get this a lot. So it's one of those things. Um, or he's showing up in dream time for you as well. Um, he's saying something about thank you for saving like the bowl or something. So I don't know if you kept a bowl or he had a bowl with a name on it. But there's something like his that had to do with food or water or something that you saved or you kept for him. Um, so it really feels very, very important and special. Um, I'll be honest, I feel like it's a ways down the road, but you'll see him, his energy again, maybe in another animal. Um, I used to not get reincarnation much at all, and I'm getting a lot more with animals. So maybe they're just starting to come back more and more, or they're coming back with more and more of the clients I see. 
So, um, yeah, so Donna, let me know if any of that makes any sense. I'm going to just kind of bring, bring that to kind of a close as we kind of move on from there. So um, that was number one, if anybody chose number one to piggyback on. So it was an interesting one. Love to know mm -hmm. if maybe you had a dog that passed away yeah. or someone named Max in your life. <laughs> there you go. So, and Miroslava, go ahead and hit enter on your question. Donna, let us know how that resonated with you or anybody else that chose number one. And we will move on to the next one. And just so you guys know, um, when you hit enter, it usually takes about maybe 45 seconds for us to see the, um, the, the, the reply or the message come up. So if we are referencing something, you might want to reference it back. Um, right. you know, yeah, so that way we know what you're talking about because we move so quickly sometimes. So Miroslava, hit your question, hit enter. And then Robin, get ready. Robin, type your question in, but do not hit enter yet. All right, You're Mary. welcome, Donna. Okay, let me see if I can bring the question up. So, ba -ba. there we go. So, Miroslava, uh, Miroslava said, "I would love to know what is it, what is for me in my close future. Right now, I am complicated situation. Thank you. All right. So, what's in the near right. future? Right now, things are complicated." I think that's a button on Facebook. <laughs> My life is complicated AF. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so what's coming from Miroslava? The Magician. All right, so with the Magician card here, this is saying that um, you're really gonna have to use your voice to start to begin to change your circumstances. The Magician here says you have all the talent, the knowledge, the power, the resource to make your life the way that you want it to be. But the magician is also, a, is related to Mercury. He has the gift of gab, you know, and being able to speak up and speak out about what you want, setting intentions, you know, setting manifestations into, um, into motion by speaking what it is that you want will begin to change the circumstances or help to unwind or unbind complicated situations. Okay, so really it is about speaking up in order to make the change that you want to see happen. And like I said, manifest it. What you do want to see, speak about that versus, oh my gosh, I don't want this. I don't want this to happen. I don't want this to happen. So coming up, I feel as though you are going to be saying, I want this situation to change. I want this to fall into place. And that will begin to kind of start the, the wheels of cranking for things to work out in your favor, almost by magic. Okay. Beautiful. Because some call that magic, don't they? Cast in a spell with your words. This is why I love you, V. So, so um, also Wilma said um, that needs to be an automatic um, reply. Uh, life is complicated AF. Yes. So, all right. So for Miroslava, I would like to know what's uh, in the close future. Right now, life is complicated. Lovers, which is, <laughs> which is what I was feeling like. There's some relationship stuff going on. But also, I heard spirit loud. And this is Gemini energy. I heard spirit. Spirit loud and clear say, um, you know, you <laughs> step into your own power, stop relying to, on other people. I felt a lot of work stuff with you as well, Miroslava. And it's almost like I want you to walk in like, I don't know if you know who Xena Warrior Princess is, but, you know, Wonder Woman. There's another powerful there you woman. Go. Shield up, sword in hand, you know, walk in not to like just kick butt and take names, but walk in in your truth, in your power, you know, very mm -hmm. humbly. Most warriors, they don't have to flex their muscles. They don't even have to raise their sword because nope. they stay humble. It's like, it's like what I always felt with like martial arts. They always, I always felt like they were not going to hurt someone unless they were put Absolutely. in a situation to defend themselves or defend somebody else. There was this yep. kind of this written right. So, so walk in with that grace, compassion, and humility. Um, but also, you know, let people know you're, you're worth what you're worth. Um, and if it's about relationship, then this could be you. And this is from spirit very delicately. Cause I feel like this is the complicated part. Um, speak your truth, mm -hmm. um, have a plan, mm -hmm. um, be conscious, of the line you might cross that might tip the scale and then you're then you're then it's it's you're, it's overboard so it's like i want you to make sure you have plans and you know what your next steps are before you push someone or something too far so that's number two and for miroslava let us know if that resonates with anybody else 
And thank you, thank you. And Robin, get your question ready. If not already, and you can hit enter. And Miroslav, and anybody else who chose number two, let us know how that resonated with you. You were going to say something before you talked about um, Wilma's um, post. You said something about, I was saying something about magic, and you were saying something. And you said, that's why I, and then you jumped off. I said, oh, I said, that's why I like you. Oh. Because, because of your, 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 you know, I call it NLP. You know, you, it's, it's spell casting and magic. NLP is neuro linguistic oh. programming, which is, gotcha. it's your words are powerful. Your, the way you speak, the way you think, you know, brings in. And that's, you know, it's, it's the spell, it's spell work. You know, it's, gotcha. it's, it's intention setting, you know, that kind of a thing. Gotcha. Okay. So Courtney said, I piggybacked with Miroslava, definitely been speaking up more and vocally setting intentions for my day and future. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. So I'm going to put Robin's question up, which is, um, where, where does, where does my, where does my career stand? Words are magic. You're absolutely right, Wilma. All right. Where does Robin's job stand? This is number three for anybody who's piggybacking. All right. Oh, beautiful. Miroslava said. Oh, interesting. The death card. Ooh. All right. So where does your job stand in transition? Okay. So I don't know if you um, are feeling a transition happening within your job, the company itself, you feeling as though you're no longer interested in what it is that you're doing, but overall there is this transformation that is happening or transition. So I feel like something is coming to an end, whether it's the responsibilities of your position, your position as a whole, or you just kind of migrating away from what it is that you're doing currently. Um, but this is talking about that a rebirth is coming. There's something new on the horizon, but making space and letting go of what is, is what's of utmost importance. Okay, so transition is happening within in regards to your career. Okay, beautiful. And from me, seven of swords. Yeah, this is backing out, getting away from the drama, getting away from the craziness. Yep. So, so this person has got the five swords, and they're walking away. They're leaving two behind. This is Aquarius energy with a little bit of moon there. So these beautiful, this is a lot of thought, a lot of intellect. So this would be making choices and decisions to kind of move that are very logical, not really based on emotion. But yeah, you know, this is this is definitely moving out, moving away from a lot of times getting out of drama, backing out of, you know, gossip, getting away from things that just are not fulfilling and satisfying because Aquarius they are humanitarians and they want to make sure everybody's yep. happy. They want to make sure life is good and wonderful. So there's the message for number three for Robin. Um, anybody else who piggybacked on there? And then Miroslava said she definitely needed to hear that. She felt it inside. Um, good. Sharon says we got we're incredible. Yeah, that, that's you know what Sharon. I was thinking about that. That's because there's so much love between V and I, and respect that what we do, yes. what each of us do. So. Y'all should put links in the description just saying, um, oh, put deck or oh, links to the deck. Yes, we definitely could do that. I just dry, I just put the title in the, the company for mine. Okay. Dark Mansion Tarot by Tarot Tecca Studios. But go ahead. Cool. All right. <clears throat> Who is number three? So that was number three. So this is number four, Lisa. Go ahead and hit Lisa. enter. Oh, our, our, our son is here. Troy's here. Hi, Troy, baby. And I'm looking up Tarot of Dreams. I will save this video and listen to it again and again. So on spot. You both are awesome. Oh, thank you, Miroslava. Robin says, amazing. Makes perfect sense right now. Beautiful, Robin. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Lisa says, will we be getting our house soon? Let's see. Lisa. Lisa and Co. Well, Lisa and Co. be getting <laughs> their house soon. And I'm going to drop the link to my deck. All right. So the full card comes up. For me, this is a yes. It's about, you know, taking the leap of faith. It's talking about a new journey, a brand new start. 
Will you be getting your house soon? I feel like with this fool card, I want to definitely say, yes, it's coming. You know, you just have to, um, you know, do something you've never done to get something you've never gotten type of feeling. OK, so I don't know if that's involving paperwork or looking at a different place, um, a different city, a different town, whatever the case may be. But it really is talking about, you know, put on your big girl pants and, you know, just kind of trusting that what's yours is yours and it will show up for you. OK, so I feel like the house is coming soon. OK, so don't be fearful. Take that leap of faith. It's a new journey starting ahead of you. OK. And that this is also for me. I'm number four too, so that makes a lot of sense. Just the whole message. All right, and for oh, me, for me, Lisa, house coming soon. Ace of Swords, make it happen, create it. You know, mm -hmm. set the intention. We're, we were talking about spells and intention setting. This is the image on the on the main deck, on the main cover of the deck. But yeah, this is a new thought, a new beginning, a new start. Logic, reason, intellect, it's that air element. Um, but also cut away from the things that are preventing you from getting the house. And we just talked about belief and the words we speak. V said, you know, avoid saying things like, oh, I don't want this to happen. I don't want that to happen. Flip it 180. I'm, you know, I always tell people, you know, if you say, oh, I don't, I'm, I'm driving down the highway. I hope I don't get in a wreck. I don't want to get in a wreck. You're calling wreck into your existence. Flip it and just say, thank goodness I'm driving safely. I'm going to arrive mm -hmm. on time. Just flip it to the positives. So, yeah. So, number and can, I, can I add a little bit more to that one? Yes. Um, because the Ace of Swords is always about communication and I'm such a power. I'm just so involved in manifestation. Sometimes it really is putting that idea out there. You know, sometimes we, we want to put things in motion, but we're afraid to tell the universe that we're ready for something else to go in order to make for, right, space for something else to come in. So if people are like, I'm looking for a new job, you have to tell universe, universe, I'm, I'm done with this current position. I'm ready for a new job. Sometimes it's really just speaking it. So when I saw that Ace of Swords, it's like, universe, I'm ready for this new house. I'm ready to take this leap of faith. I'm ready to move. You know, and sometimes that stuff puts the things in motion as well, your voice. So just want to add that. Cool. Thank you. And Robin did say she cannot express how much um, both of us hit the nail on the head with her reading. So beautiful. Oh, good, good, good. So cool. And Lisa, hope that Lisa said, no, I want my house to get another. No, I want my house to get another beagle. So you want to get another dog in your house? Is that it? Oh. <laughs> So nugget moment, flip it. Yes. Yeah. And for me, I learned the flip it. I mean, it's again, it's intention setting, it's creation, but I learned it hard and heavy with my animal communication. Because oh. if, if you walk in the living room and your dog is on the couch and in your house, you don't let the animals on the couch. Most people say, get off the couch, get off the couch. And the image you're sending the animal is an image of them on the couch. So they usually when I'm talking or I'm working, they're like, I'm confused. You, I think you say get off the couch, but the image of me is on the couch. So I don't know what to do. So what you flip do is flip and say, go to your bed, sit over here. This is where uh -huh. so you, you give them the positive intention of what you want. So that's why I really, Ooh. really hit home for me. I like that. Cool. <laughs> All right, so Allison, if you're still with us, send your question our way. And this is number five, V's number, V number it is, five. It is my number, boom, boom, although I'm, I'm picked seven today. <laughs> I just, Courtney, I, I do. I I'm swear I saw, I'll give you information I, for it. It won't start until the next new moon, but I do host a manifestation class. A um, group, I should say, not class, but a group. Um, and I just saw Donna Ross, and I went, oh, my God, Diana Ross is here. <laughs> So, All right. so Allison says, what should I focus on to make the most of my transition into my new work role? Beautiful question. Beautiful, beautifully written. You're welcome, Lisa. All right. Focus. Focus. First of all, we had a jumper. We'll see if it comes nice. out. Nice. Eight of swords. Fell apart. What is the focus for this new role? The two of wands. All right. So I feel like, honestly, you're going to have probably two focuses. <laughs> There's going to be a, some multitasking. OK, um, what should I focus on to make the most of my transition? So this is talking about I also feel like there's this, this element of you kind of being the teacher and the student. I don't know if that makes sense for you, but I feel like you're going into this space already knowing some things, um, but, but riding that fine line between 
um, listening to, you know, how this role is going to be run, but then you also speaking up and talking about the experience that you have in it. Okay. So with this two of wands, it really feels like don't hide your energy. Don't hide what you know. You don't want to come off as a braggado no, as braggadocious or know it all, but definitely um, use the energy and the experience that you have and add it to what it is that you're learning so that you're constantly doing this back and forth and doesn't feel like all this stuff is just being kind of shoveled at you for you to take in. Okay. Um, so focus is really just about um, multitasking, being able to do a couple things at once and not getting overloaded. But then, yes, student and a teacher. Yes, exactly that. You know things. You have experience. So shuffle that in so it doesn't just feel like as though you are just taking in everything. Okay? So. All right. And from me, oh, my gosh, the Seven of Swords again. So once again, this one, so what should you know to focus on the most? I'm going to say this bluntly, and I and I and I know Allison personally, <laughs> um, but I don't know so much about the transition stuff. But I know her personally. Um, don't listen to what other people say about this. This needs to be your own stuff. Your, in other words, mm -hmm. you know, you're asking us, but be conscious of asking those who know you and the role, or you work with, or something like that, because I, I it's like I don't want your head being filled with people. You know, telling it's like it's like you go out on a blind date and you're like, don't tell me too much about the person. Let me discover it for myself because you may tell mm -hmm. me two or three things that just going to turn me off. So yep. don't let people spoil the, the spoil the spoil the first date. You know, yep. so 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 let it unravel naturally um, and take what works for you. This is a beautiful example of this. Take what works and leave the rest behind. Once again, this person is walking out with five swords. They're leaving two behind. So you don't have to yep. take everything that's presented. So with your transition, you may be leaving some stuff at the old, moving into the new, and be conscious of what, you know, don't don't say the person who just left that job, hey, tell me what it's about. Just go experience it for yourself. Just go experience it for yourself. Yep. All right. Thank you, Allison. And that was number five. If anybody was piggybacking there. And then we're going to move on to Stacy number six. So Stacy, go ahead and put your question in. Allison, let us know if you have any Responses or anybody else who chose number five. Hey, Jules. Hey, Jules. Jules, we've already picked our eight read, read, readies, client uh, querents tonight. So in two weeks from night, get here early and then remember, raise your hands. Say, first time here, pick me um, and we'll probably get you then. Um, but also, you guys, you can find me at MitchellOsmer.com and V at her red light readings. If you want to, um, I do spreads delivered back in a video and as well as... Um, um, virtual live and V does stuff as well. And we'll talk more about that at the end. Yep. So, all right. So Stacy's got her question, Allison. Thank you. Thank you. So Stacy and Allison said, thank you, super planner. So I'll try to be more mindful, um, or just let it happen. Yeah. Go with the flow, be a little more in the moment. This is, I tell you, that is the lesson COVID-19 has taught mm -hmm. me. Listen, just, just put the sail up. There's no need to have a rudder and just let the nope. wind take you. <laughs> Because they, because ain't nothing gonna be the same. All right, Post. so, so, and I gotta say, Stacy, I don't know why, and this is not anything like weird or freaky, but I love your name, Stacy Creamer. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, like, what would you like with your coffee, some Stacy Creamer? I mean, it's like, it's just this smooth, silky name. I love it. So, I love it. So, Stacy's question: I'm working on second draft <laughs> of a mystery novel I've written. Oh, I awesome. love it. What should I know as I go forward with revisions to make it even better? This, Ooh, is, good this is a beautiful question to ask Tarot. Oh my gosh. Yes. There are many books and things and people do lots of podcasts and stuff about using Tarot to write. I think Teresa Reed, mm -hmm. Tarot Lady, yep. she brought somebody on and did one of these same things. I forgot who it was though. Oh, Ooh. same energy here. <clears throat> Two of Wands. Okay. Um, and so what should I know as I go forward with revisions to make it even better? Um, I don't I, What I'm feeling is that it's about you finding this balance between, I want to make this perfect and just writing out of pure like automatic right chaos i don't know it just feels like this fine line between 
you know, everything being very in order, being very proper. And then the left side, which is kind of like uh, sporadic and, you know, it's just, it's just not in line or detailed or pretty. And it really comes from the, the creative space, I guess you can say. You know, honing more into that creative space where it's just messy and chaotic, but it's your energy. It's what you're pouring into it and learning to blend the two of them. You know, sometimes we can, even in automatic writing, it's straight from the top and you're just going with what is channeled. And it's not until we go, we, we're, ch we're told not to edit it as we're writing it and to go back and read it and to get the nuggets out of it. You know, so I'm feeling like that's, that's what's coming through is allow yourself when you're doing these revisions and these edits to automatic write what you feel the revision is. And then you can go back and edit it and make it pretty. Because I feel like there's more creativity to come into your work. Um, but I feel like it has to come from that messy space. Does that make sense? I know this is like a weird way of trying to explain it. Yeah. Um, but I really feel like it's that, that balance. You know, there's more that you can add into this to make it even more fabulous than it is. But I feel like you have to get into that chaotic, messy space and then come back and tame it, if that makes sense. Yeah, and I just kept hearing, don't overthink it. Yeah. Yes. Let it be real, too. So, hey, Tracy, I know you want number eight. Oh, <laughs> you can, cool. You can, you can piggyback. And then for me, how can you make it even better? Oh, the lovers. I love it. Now, this is Gemini and Gemini's. If you know Teresa Reed, you know there she's a writer. <laughs> uh, Rhonda George, another Gemini. Jenna Matlin, all those Gemini's. They are writer, writer, writer. So I love that this is coming up. And Stacey, if you're a writer, if you're a Gemini, let me know, especially since you're a writer. But I would say this is really about like, I'm going to be I'm going to be silly. Make love to this book and see what comes out of it. Because mm -hmm. I, I feel like, and here's when V was talking, I just kept seeing you lead from your solar plexus, like connecting to the book, almost like an, an intuitive connection. Um, and the solar plexus, that beautiful yellow personal power, it's your strength. It's um, just, you know, the, the sun energy, um, you know, coming through. And with the lovers, it's almost like, you know, if two people have a baby, they cannot predict what the baby's going to look like. They really right. can't. You know, they're just, you know, putting their stuff in a tube, mixing it up, and what are you getting? So, so realize that this novel has a life of its own and you're co-creating with something that's already almost living and breathing. So yeah. if you are a Gemini, lots of Geminis love to have it their way. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that's yeah. why they're probably good writers. So realize that you are co-creating with something that's already existing, and that is your novel. And sometimes you might have to give up the ghost and allow the novel to just do its thing. And if you're, you, if you're writing characters, I know this from short story and play script, uh, script writing that I've done. Sometimes the characters, they write themselves. I just yeah. I know who they are, <laughs> and they start talking and doing the writing. So yeah, so Stacy and anybody who chose number um, number five, uh, six, let us know how that resonated with you. And then Polo, get your question ready. Go ahead and type it in. And I pick number seven too. Hmm. Thank you, Sue, for that reply to Stacy. Yes. Yay! Yes, thank you. While well, we're waiting for Polo's hey, question, Stanley. look at this beauty. Wow. Is that a, um, what's the pink? Is it pink? Rose quartz. Rose quartz. Yeah. Beautiful. Big chunky heart. I love it. All right. Here's Polo's. All right. Polo says, what will be the impact on my personal level of returning to work in August? Thank you guys. Okay, personal impact. And then Stacy said, thanks so much. Fabulous reading. Um, oh, she is a Libra. I love it. So there's a lot of air there. So, and, and I'll say it, since you said that, let me say this. Be careful not to try to please everybody with your work because Libra, yes. are, they're trying to please everybody and keep it in balance. And I can imagine, you know, I'm not a, a writer of mystery novels, but I can imagine there ain't balance in stuff like that. <laughs> it needs to be out of balance so that the mystery can be solved. So avoid yep. trying to please everybody. And that's what I was saying, that, that chaotic. Yes. yes, yes. All right, Polo, what will be the impact of your personal, on a personal level, returning back to work? All right, the Four of Swords comes up. Oh. You're going to be tired, boo. 
personal level is really talking about making sure that you are taking the time out to rest. You know, the Four of Swords is all about the pause. It's all about resting and definitely resting your mind. Okay. You know, jumping back into the workforce in August and all of the things that, you know, sometimes anxieties rile up because it's something that we're doing, we haven't done in a while and all these other things, but you're going to be even more busy than you are now. So this is just saying, make sure you take time for rest. Make sure you give yourself that self-care time, that down period to be able to really just zone out so that you can recharge. Okay. And, and I don't know if you know what Polo does, but I love that you said it's all about the pause. The pause. Yes, the pause. The, the dog the, pause. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, oh yes. my God. And here we, are, here we are talking about dogs and I got cards. Oh my gosh, the moon card came up. Oh, I, I just, I got to pull it. I got to pull it. So, oh, and this, okay. So I just got to pull it. So, so it flew out. And I love it that there's there's two canines here. So there's a wolf and a, and a, and a dog. So, you know, Polo, trust your intuition. This is very much Pisces sign here. I can't remember if you're a Pisces with me or not. Um, he's Scorpio. Yeah, he's Scorpio? Okay. Oh, my God, that makes so much sense. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so really trust your gut. Trust your intuition. Um, be conscious that you're not pulled in too many directions or in just opposing directions that once again mm -hmm. tires you out and wears you down like V was talking about. But ultimately, really, really, really trust your um, trust your gut on this. And then don't be afraid to ask for a little bit of help um, when you need it. Um, and, and, and this could even be financially. If all of a sudden you need just a little boost to get you going or something like that, don't be afraid to ask somebody for some help. Reach out to, again to find that balance. Yeah. So that was number six or number seven and, that, and for Polo. That's what I picked too. And for you, for V. So pause and trust. Got it. <laughs> Yay. You so, know I got you, Flo, my K baby. So and I, I how do you, how do you pronounce the name again? Adjoa? Ajua. Ajua. So yep. so they picked number seven as well, and it was a good one for a teacher, very concerned. Oh yes. Yep. All right. So I'm taking Polo's question down. And last one, Daniel, shoot your question our way. Polo, anybody who chose number seven, let us know how that resonated with you. So while we're waiting, V, do you just love text replacement on your phone? Text replacement? So I have so many like like all I have to do is type like three to five letters of something and then it, and I, it posts links. It posts, you know, that's where I put my gratuity. Oh my gosh. So like, yeah. So <laughs> where did, where did we find this? On your iPhone in settings, go to general and then text replace keyboards, general keyboards, text replacement. Like, like I, I will go to my phone right now and I will type G R A T U. And then it posts my PayPal gratuity link. And it says, thanks for post. Thanks for, for supporting me. You, you put whatever text in there. I have so many of them in there. Yeah. Shoot. Okay, then let me get to this. We'll talk later. Okay. <laughs> yeah, anybody else? This, it's amazing for me because it's like anything I need is right there. My videos, my videos, because I get tired Dope. of looking up something and, and sending it to them. So, all right. So, Daniel, let me put your question up there. So, Daniel, um, I have found that I have a have a hole in my heart and the doctor um, don't know how to fix it. My question is, what is the outcome? And I also feel like I have let down a few people on the outside. So let's look at an outcome for the hole in the heart and anything about letting some people down on the outside. We'll see what spirit has to say about that very, very serious question. Yay, Polo, glad it resonated. Yes, well, my shortcuts for for my gratuity for for my meetup group for links to my Facebook page, you know, for videos for tapping for missing pets. So many things that I get tired of typing in over and over and over and over and over. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see here. The Knight of Wands. All right, so we're talking about the outcome for the hole in the heart. Um, the nights are all about movement and the wands are all about energy. 
Um, so honestly, I feel like the outcome is favor favorable um, just because there is this element of moving of energy, you know. Um, but I also feel as though as you are going through this process of getting things figured out, be mindful of the movement of your energy. OK, you don't want to overtax yourself or do too much before the doctors are able to, you know, give you adequate, you know, help to find out the who, what, why, when, where of, you know, your situation. But as an overall outcome, I feel as though you're going to be back on the horse and you'll be moving around, having energy, you know, once everything is, you know, taken care of. OK. Um, and. uh also feel I've let a few people down outside. Um, on regard in regards to letting people down, um, I don't know. It just feels as though uh, I don't know if if apologies are in order. If you're someone that can do a a Katie Kaboom in some ways, you know, if you if you are a passionate person and you may rise up in anger and you let that anger carry you or take you further than where you had planned, um, there may be some, you know, apologies that may be in order to kind of bring the the balance back. Okay. Um, once again, with all this fire energy, it can be very easy for you to kind of fly off the handle. Um, especially if you have other things going on in your life where there may be projection of energy, you may need to call that back. Okay. So I hope that resonates for you. And then I've got the hangman. So, so this is a very interesting one coming up for this. And this tells me there's just going to be a little bit of time involved here. Um, and, and I love this connecting with something physical because this is about rest. This is about thinking things through. This is often about that cocoon time where you transform. Um, you know, this is, and again, and the ultimate thing about this is it's out of your hands. Because this person is is trapped there, um, they're probably not going to get themselves down on their own. So mm -hmm. this is gonna this is where you need help. You need assistance from other people, um, and you know. And then the next the next card, which after this is that transformation. You know, this is about you know where you find yourself moving into and shifting into something very different. Um, so with regards to letting people down, you know, I definitely what V said, but also there may be a you may need to let a little time sit between um, what happened um, and, mm -hmm. and then let things simmer a little bit before you either do reach out, do the apology. And also, um, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to type this in using one of my shortcuts. Yep. But if you do not know the Ho'oponopono um, Hawaiian oh. practice, then I'm putting that in. And it's an amazing practice of forgiveness. And the and there's a video that I did because I got tired of explaining it to it. So I explained it in a video and I just hit that hit that link. But basically there there if there were two tribes on the island of in Hawaii and two there was a person in each tribe and they were angry with each other. The tribes knew well enough that if there was dissension, even among two people of opposing tribes, that it would affect the entire tri all the tribes, the entire island. You know, the harvest, everything, the negativity of that, the, of the anger and the frustration. So they would bring them together and pono makes, means to make right. So pono pono make doubly right. So whole pono pono is to bring people together, make things doubly right. And this practice is, it's cord cutting. It's an act of forgiveness. If you've ever seen anybody post, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. That's whole pono pono practice. Mm. And it's the energy of the words. And sometimes it's hard for people to do it because it's hard to say to someone, and you do it in your head, you don't have, they're not there. But it's, sometimes it's hard to say, I'm sorry for any part of this I had into it. Please forgive yep. me, even though I didn't do nothing wrong. It's the right. energy of it. Because once again, you know, holding anger and unforgiveness towards somebody is the same as drinking poison and expecting yeah. it to hurt the other person. Yeah. So beautiful practice you guys can look into. Ooh, Donna's dealing with the narcissist. All right. <laughs> oh, and it's an in-law. Oh, that's yeah. tough. That's tough. All right. So that was Daniel in number eight. Daniel, yeah, let's know yeah. how that resonated. Anybody else who chose number eight? But cool. So I hope you guys had a good time hanging with us. It's, it's almost um, eight o'clock. So we're going to be wrapping this thing up. 
Yes, we'll yes. definitely be back in two weeks. B, what you got going on? You always have so much going on because you are a full time BFF mistress. I am. Um, let's see. Turn tea every Monday, Wednesday, Friday on Instagram at Red Light Readings. Um, come and get the spiritual word um, and some free readings there. Um, if you guys are looking to book a reading with me, just go to my website right here, redlightreadings.com. The Sea Breeze is my most um, uh, my most popular. It's a virtual reading, so you and I get to be virtual and get into the tea, honey. Um, if you're looking for a birth chart reading, the Cosmic Politan is also on my um, website. Um, I am teaching how to be your own tarot BFF through the Tarot Summer School with Ethany, um, so you guys can check that out. Um, I will be teaching um, through the WDA World Divination Association um, August 15th. I think that's the Saturday. Um, it's dealing with Lenormand this time around. It's the Lenormand Summit. So if you guys are interested in that, my topic is using Lenormand to spill the tea, practice and play using celebrity rag mags. <laughs> So getting to dive into Lenormand that way, to learn about it, to play around with it, because it's, it's all fun, you know? Um, yeah, I think that's all I got. So so Adjoa, Adjoa, is that it? I'm going to get it right. Hello, Adjoa. Adjoa. Adjoa said, check your private message. There's a surprise for you. Got it. So it's so funny. Here's my first response when I saw that. I'm like, either someone's engaged or pregnant. Um, Neither. <laughs> Neither. <laughs> Ooh, so um, you guys, so I put um, a link to my spread store, which if you want to get a specific, I've got over 50 spreads, you choose one, I record it for you specifically and design for you and send it back to you within one to three days. I also put, if you put my link if you want to book a session. And then here is my tip jar and V if you haven't put your tip jar up. And you guys, you know, our tip jars are just there. If you want to drop a five, a 10 or something like that, we appreciate it just for just for the stuff that we do here and all our daily postings. All of it does help us to do what we do, um, raise the vibration of this planet, share the love, mm -hmm. spill the tea, um, shine light on the truth. <laughs> so Miroslava, thank you so much. And you guys- thank you. Follow you. us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those places. I, I'm a social yeah. media whore. I won't speak for V. <laughs> Come on. Sometimes it's not even social media. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> 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 then y'all everybody is. It's no kidding. <laughs> all right. All right. So you guys, if you have any other final questions, um, shoot the answer or shoot the question over there. But otherwise, we're going to be signing off in about the next 30, 45 seconds. Yes, yes. And we'll be back in two weeks. I'm I'm pretty good. I think you're good. Yeah, two just, weeks good. We, I'll, I'll create an event real quick um, so that we'll just mimic that. And we'll see you again in two weeks. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. So, all right. Question eight, how do you deal with the loss of a dad? Tracy, did you, you have to go back and watch number eight. <laughs> Polo's girl. All right, you guys. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you. I say the may the beautiful, powerful, wonderful, awesome sexiness in me. See and recognize the beautiful, powerful, wonderful, awesome sexiness in you. Namaste. And I say namaste. Have a great, great two weeks, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye.